Good news everybody, I've got another science experiment for you. And this is something that if you are younger, don't, <laughs> don't try this uh, without parental supervision because it can be very dangerous. Um, but it's really, really cool looking when you do it right. Um, let me show you it first and then I'll explain a little bit about it. As you guys can see, I've got a beer bottle here and I'm going to turn off all the lights so that you can see this. You guys ready? Aw, oh, boo. What the heck? Yeah, let's try this one more time. <sighs> what the heck? When I try it for you guys, I do it right before, and now I try it and it doesn't work. Let's try this again. That was a very short one. I understand what's going on now. Well, let's talk about this a little bit first. This is 70% rubbing alcohol. Uh, the reason that what I'm going to show you... I, See, I don't want to tell you too much, and I don't want to give it away before you guys see the sweet, sweet reveal that is the awesomeness of it. You guys saw a little bit of it in those two, like, a few of those fails. <sighs> yeah, we'll, we'll wait, and after I get a good one, then I'll talk to you about it. How about that? It, it'll be good. I'll read you a book first. How about that? Where were we? Oh, yeah, most of my friends are dead. What? Oh... Now all my friends are dead. All of my friends are end tables. Those three pages, right? Sorry guys, we gotta wait till tomorrow. One day, I'll string together everything and create the entire book in one video. But not today. Because I was using only 70% alcohol, I had to let it sit for a good, I don't know, maybe like 10, 15 minutes. Now, uh, and we're gonna try it again. Let's check it out. Here we go again. It was pretty sweet, right? Consequently, the longer I would let it sit, the cooler it would be. I just poured some more alcohol in there. I'm gonna let it sit overnight, or not overnight, but uh, until I'm ready for bed, which is like in two hours. No, an hour, <laughs> just kidding. So here's the reason that it works better with a higher alcohol content alcohol. Like that's 70% isopropyl alcohol, which is just rubbing alcohol. You can get 91% at like the drugstore and stuff like that. Uh, if you go to the hardware store, you can get uh, denatured alcohol, which I think is a lot higher alcohol content. Not 100% sure on that one. But pretty much what's happening is the alcohol is evaporating and you're lighting the alcohol vapor. Like you're not lighting any of the, the actual alcohol itself. You're lighting the vapor off the top. The same way that gas works. A lot of people are confused about the fact that Gas itself, liquid gasoline, uh, liquid petrol, whatever you guys want to call it, is not explosive. The vapors off the top of gasoline or petrol are very explosive. So if there was a way to make gasoline or petrol uh, sitting still, completely untouched, no vibrations whatsoever so that the top becomes stagnant, and there are no vapors coming off the top, you could actually light a match and put it out in the gasoline. I would not suggest doing this. I'm never going to try this, ever. Gasoline explodes quite a bit. So uh, don't ever try to light a fire with gasoline. It's, it's like the dumbest idea that you could have. Use uh, mineral spirits or uh, like lighter fluid. That's a little bit less dangerous but still somewhat dangerous. Gasoline is just ridiculous, just, just stupid. Don't do that, you're gonna blow yourself up. And the other thing that you guys didn't get to hear that hopefully you guys will be able to hear when I do it uh, at 10 o'clock tonight, when I'm saying goodbye to you guys, is uh, there's this awesome sound of the air rushing out. Cause what's happening, okay, here's what's happening. The mixture of the evaporated alcohol and the oxygen in the air are what is igniting. So. Uh, all of that oxygen is being used up really fast. So you get this cool like whoosh sound. And hopefully like it, it sort of happened in the video that you guys saw, but when I did it the first time, what I did was I tried this and it didn't work. And then I went and I took a shower and I was like, eh, this didn't work. And then I watched some videos on it and I was like, well, it should work. So I did it again and it was like whoosh, cause I had let it sit for a long time. So. Uh, the, anyways, back to alcohol, oxygen, all of the oxygen being sucked down, but at the same time being used, 
uh, creates this crazy whooshing sound until you use up all the oxygen in the container that it, it's in. Then the fire goes out. Did that make any sense whatsoever? It kind of sounded convoluted. All right, it hasn't quite been an hour yet, but I just can't wait. It's been 37 minutes. Let's give it a try again. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. And so consequently, I would not suggest that you try that at home. If you do, I mean, ask your parents. And if you are the parents, go for it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.